Described in court as a deviant sexual abuser of young boys, over two decades, Michael Souter used his celebrity status to groom those as young as 11. This man, a teenager at the time, met Souter through the Venture Scouts. He can't be identified for legal reasons. I think he's finally got what he deserves, um, now that I know what he's done to those other children. After what he did to me, it makes me feel very sad. Brought up on the outskirts of Glasgow, Souter was the youngest of four boys. He won a scholarship to the Royal Naval College, had aspirations to become a barrister, after seven years at sea became a radio presenter, later working for BBC Radio Norfolk. Rachel Hemnell of Drayton is also having a birthday. He's 11 years old tomorrow. Margaret and Happy Houghton, that's a nice name, Happy. He also became Avenger Scouts leader, inviting some back to his house for wine and dinner. Eventually, he ran his own media relations consultancy. A very public figure, but behind the scenes were boys too scared to speak out. I wish I had done. It may be that I could have stopped further abuse. He was such a strong character, so well known, so influential as I thought at the time. I don't think anything would have happened as a result of me speaking out. Um, it doesn't stop me wishing that I had done. It was questioned in court whether the authorities could have done more to stop the abuse. Souter became a youth mentor for Norfolk Social Services, taking boys who needed a fatherly figure on days out. And in 1991, Norfolk County Council allowed him to adopt. We did all of the checks that you would expect us to do with the police and with other agencies. Uh, this is somebody who was extremely de you know, devious and was able for a long time to fly underneath the radar of those agencies that would have concerns. Three years on and he was arrested, there was enough concern for the adoption to be terminated, but no criminal action was taken. There is no file relating to that period of time. If I knew what the file contained, I would be in a better position to say whether or not uh, CPS or the police could have done something differently in 1993. Because of this case, Norfolk Police will now keep their records for at least 10 years. For Souter, it would be another two decades, further abuse allegations before charges were brought. The public relations man now defending his own reputation. I look forward to being able to prove my innocence and put this dreadful, appalling episode behind me. Michael Souter's defence in court was that he was heterosexual, liked dressing up as a schoolboy and was caught up in a conspiracy. One of his victims is keen for those being abused now by other paedophiles to tell someone. When the police came to me and asked me if I knew anything, I was able to talk to somebody after 30 years. I really felt I was being believed, and the guilty person has been put away. In court, Souter was likened to a character in the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang film. He had all the allure of a toy maker and all the menace of a child catcher. Debbie Tubby, Bibsa Norfolk.